Did you know in 2 Corinthians 13, 5, God commands us to test ourselves, to examine ourselves, to make sure we're in the faith? Well, how can we know if I'm truly a Christian? How can you know if you're truly a, question, a Christian? Well, the first step is to look back and see, did a work start in me? Is there a time that you know that you know that you know that with your lips you confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord, that you believed in your heart he died on the cross and rose from the grave? It Was it just lip service or was it genuinely from the heart? Look backwards and see, is there a time that you put Jesus Christ in control as your Lord and as your Savior? That's the first step of testing to make sure that you are a Christian. The second step of testing yourself, examining yourself to make sure you're in the faith, to make sure you know that you know that you know that you're a Christian is the experience of the Holy Spirit. What does that look like? What does that mean? Well, Ephesians chapter 1 is very clear that when you become a Christian, you become sealed with the Holy Spirit, that it bears witness within you of your own salvation, that something happened. You received God in you, and since that day, everything's changed. There's a voice that bears witness within you that is true in accordance with the Scripture, that convicts you and turns you and guides you away from sin and towards Christ. Have you experienced God's Spirit within you? And if you don't know, and if you're not sure, then you need to examine again whether or not you're a believer. Is God's Spirit in you? That's the third test of making sure you know that you're a Christian, of looking and seeing, do you see His fruit? Galatians 5 describes His fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. That's the fruit. That's the change that only the Holy Spirit can do over time. And the book of 1 John is real clear that if you are in Christ, you won't continue to make a practice of sinning. You'll, in fact, turn progressively away from sin and you'll walk progressively, increasingly in righteousness. You'll love being in church. You'll love being in the Bible. You'll love other Bible, uh, believers. You'll love doing what is right and showing love and forgiveness towards others. So look at your life. Look at 1 John. Look at the fruits of the Spirit and test yourself. Is the fruit of God's Spirit being produced in my life? The fourth test of examining yourself, testing yourself to make sure you know that you're in the faith is do you continue? Do you endure? Do you persevere? In 1 John 2, 19, it says this, they went out from us, but they weren't of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that it might become plain that not all are of us. So if someone who claims the name of Christ goes out of church for a long period of time, goes out in behavior and practice and statement from the teachings and behaviors of Christ, they're probably not truly a believer. You need to test yourself. Do you continue with believers in church? Do you continue with believers in word and action? That continuation, that endurance, that perseverance is an evidence of salvation or lostness. How can I know if I'm truly saved? How can I know if I'm really a Christian? Well, the book of 1 John is hugely helpful. Read through it. It's some tough stuff, but it can really reveal clearly to you whether you're lost or saved. And three big characteristics to look for. One, do I obey God's commands? Not just listen to it, not just know it, understand it, but actually live it out, obey it willingly from the heart. Two, do I practice forgiveness of others the same way I've received Christ's forgiveness? If I've received it genuinely, it will show up in how I forgive others. Third, do I show love? If I love Christ, if I've been loved by Christ in a way that's really transformed my life spiritually, it will show up in how I love others. So read the book of 1 John. Don't just take my word for it. If you're questioning whether or not you're in the faith, read the book of 1 John. How do you know if you're a true believer? Well, the parable of the sower is a good way to examine yourself, to test yourself, to see if you're in the faith. And in the parable of the sower, there's four responses to the gospel. The first one's the hard soil, like a, a path where you never really understood the gospel, never really responded to it. Satan plucked it away before you understood. The second soil and the third soil, rocky ground and thorny ground. The, the gospel initially grows and looks like a Christian, but then 
then it withers up or it's choked out from the suffering or from the desires of the world. And there's no fruitfulness. Only the fourth soil is a true believer where there's good soil, good roots, good fruit. The fruit might differ 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold, but there is fruit of God's Spirit within that believer. So look at the parable of the sower. And if you're not the fourth soil, you're not saved.